Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome to the Final Fantasy Wave X's video, and I apologize if you can't see me. I'm currently uh, under a generator, power's out, I'm in a generator, so you might be able to even hear it in the background. I try my best to silence that with my microphone, but I can't do much about that, so I apologize in advance if it's annoying. Uh, I, I want to try to get these out, these videos out, so I can't have the lights on, so you just will just be able to imagine me being here. <laughs> Anyways, thank you guys for watching this video. Appreciate you clicking on it. And now we're going to get into the review. So, we got Vlad here. His STMR is good for Dark Visions. If you want to do, if you want to kill bosses in one turn. Otherwise, I've never used it. I don't think it'll ever be useful besides Dark Visions, other than uh, maybe maybe Clash of Wills will be good in maybe. Uh, anyways. So he's the last full Brave Shift, the last full type, or an Ace type, or a, a Rem type damage dealer where they like to have physical killers, but they can be imbued and they do magic stuff. So, he has a 100 times magic AMOE mod. Not too bad. His own first is 110 times. And which is also imbuable, of course. 500% cap, so if you, on both farms, uh, if you equip indestructible light you'll be good you'll get 600 percent cap which is great 200 percent magic tdh not too bad not too great because you saw that you got to equip quite a bit to get him 400 percent but you guys can figure out a way 250 percent human killer pretty good 150 percent low first damage pretty standard and his brave shift form now he is less of a chainer and more of a finisher like roy mustang or regina or not cp noctis for example so, his modifier can go up to 1,000 uh, 1, uh, 1, times mod. Full stack, 300% um, human killer, and also 300% magic TDH. And as you always, there are downsides. We got some downsides here. And no infinite turns, but it is what it is on that. His base LB has some delay, so it's not going to chain with typical th things of that, of that nature. So... Really only for himself. Only triple cast in his base form, but not a big deal. Because I guess he can chain with our uh MOE chainers. And also he's locked to dark for finishing. So that's uh, already kinda not so good. Although we we know that being locked to dark for finishing is not so bad considering one guy comes out and he's dark. So apologize for that. I've been working on working all day on stuff, so anyways. Vlad is pretty good, he's interesting, but he's not needed, and he probably will never be needed, and that's unfortunate because I really like the character, I really like the sprite, but he's pretty much a non-essential unit, so you'll, ne you'll never need him for anything. Uh, his base form, while unique and while interesting, is just bland, and if you think about it in the end, because, like, if he was true to wield, that'd be pretty great, actually. He'd be a lot better if he was true to wield, but since he's TDH, you gotta gotta focus on a lot of stuff to get him to get him going. So I'm gonna go ahead and give him a 7.5. I've tested him out; he's pretty decent, but he's not necessary, especially with what's, what's upcoming, and not even with not even with Tifa and, and Sephiroth. I'm not even talking about them. There are a lot of damage dealers out there that are gonna be stronger than this guy, and also much easier to use. So 7.5 for Vlad. Also, I just wanted to mention this very quickly. Zyle will not be included in this review because he's not on the banner, apparently. Uh, now, this could change. He could be a surprise. Hey, we didn't announce him, but he's he's on the banner anyways, kind of thing. Uh, I'll just say in this review that Zyle is amazing. I would have given him a 9.5 9 out of 10. Uh, so I think that's all you need to know. Incredible LB support. Good buffs. Fire and ice and views. Things like that. His base form is useless. Uh, I'll say that much. His base form is really useless, but I, you, if you guys watch my JP videos, I, I use them almost all the time. That's why I'm giving him a 9.5. He is incredibly useful for the LB fill. All you need to do, make him do wield, give him Lightning's TMR, the scarf, and go to town with the Lumpur's fill. So there you go. He's a four star, so that's great. Anyways, we've got Charlotte here. Uh, her STMR is pretty good because you can shift, but you can't. You, it, it costs stuff to do this. You, I think it costs uh, insignias, but you can shift between his her STMR being two-handed and one-handed, 
which is useful for her base form and brave shift form. So let's get into why that is. Infinite turns, very nice. 500% or 5 times cap, so lighting zest TMR is useful here. 200% TDH, 200% undead killer, so useful versus Aemon. And also 190 times up to 210 times ice finisher. And she also has a 220 time uh, mod finisher. I'm not really sure. I still can't really figure out. I've been testing her quite a bit on the JP version uh, to myself. I still don't know why she has a stronger mod finisher that doesn't need to be stacked, but she has a, a finisher that needs to be stacked, but it's weaker than the non-stackable one. I don't I don't understand that. That's a little head scratcher for me. 200% defense spirit buff, and also 35% magic mitigation, a little low for this point in the game. Also a 4k HP and 40 MP recovery. Pretty decent. 150% 150% LB dodge fill rate for all allies. Not too bad. 80% general mitigation, also 100% ice resistance under Granus. In a brave shift form, she has ice, wind, and lightning chaining. Bolting strike and aim we, and also starter's ray. Oh, I, sh I should have added that. Whoops. Sorry, guys. Uh, I should have added this. 150% true duo, 6 times cap, 600% cap. And this is a lie. This is a lie. I've tested it. Unless they fix it on global, or maybe I just don't do it right. 24 hit, but it's not. It is not T cast AMOE. That is wrong. I should have. I should have gotten that out. But I do. I do correct myself in the cons. So hope you guys understand. Uh, hey, that's a mistake. 110 times mod. Uh, no abuse. That's fine. Not, ne not completely necessary. And her Brave Shift on Burst does not chain with uh, 24 hits or t 3 times the AMOE. I tested this, guys. Believe me, I tested this. I'm pretty sure it doesn't, because there's, like there's like a small delay, I believe. And her modifiers are slightly low, but it, she comes up with a strong, you know, flexibility of being able to be able to have a whole bunch of chainers and stuff like that. So I'm going to give her an 8 out of 10, just because she's pretty flexible in, in, in any kind of chaining role you want her to bring in. But once again, just like Vlad, she's not necessary for anything. Uh, just it's just a fun thing. Oh, I, I need uh, what I need like bolting strike. I need a Mui chainer. I need a side surge trade chainer. Well, Charlotte would be that in that role. But unfortunately, she doesn't really do much else other than chain and finish, and maybe a little bit of support here and there, but not too amazing. So that's why she's getting an eight. Eight is kind of okay, but nothing amazing. Um, seven is the standard, as you guys know. So that's going to be the end of the video, guys. I apologize that I couldn't review Zahn, or not Zahn, sorry, Zile. But I don't know if he's coming to Global or not, but just keep in mind what I said in, in the, the before part. Um, appreciate you guys watching again. This is all over the place because I am very tired. So I try, I, I'm, I'm trying my best for you guys while I'm literally having powder power problems. So we're going to get in this video out, and I hope to see you in the very next one after this one. Peace.